Hello. Can't wait for this marvelous stream. I hope it's everything you expect. I'm doing well, thanks. Hey guys, how's uh how's audio? Game or the music compared to my voice? I'll get game audio going here in just a sec. We can try that out. Uh, I think the sword should fire a projectile when you swing it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are plenty of projectiles. Hey Stuart, how you doing? So I've got a couple things I want to, I need to work on today. SD Diver 22 in the flesh, man. Love that guy. Still waiting on, on the next video from you, SD Diver 22. Yeah, I had this is just like a playlist of like 10 hours of lo fi video game <laughs> music. Use my video to escape the cell. <laughs> nice. Have you finished it yet, Stuart? Yeah, costume shop would be cool, Lore Vaga. Um, not in scope for the demo, but it's something I want to do. At least like a dye shop, you know, customize your the color of your uh, tunic or something like that. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Half hour a day? Oh man. You're gonna be playing this through like September. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, Stuart. I'm not doing RuPaul's. Matt Crowley. I don't think, I think RuPaul's are not fun. Okay. Uh, I'm going to boot this up on another screen to make sure I don't accidentally spoil anything. Navi deserves new paint. Navi's not in this game. She's, she's been replaced. How's game audio? You guys hear, hear me moving around doing stuff? Cool. Uh, a couple things I need to fix before. Let me just move this up.
Touch quieter on the game audio? Okay. Um, is it is it title setup? No. Where do I set this? Oh yeah. Okay. I need to figure out what what spawn this should be. Is it one? Was it very difficult to create the new link look? I don't know. I didn't make it. <laughs> the new link model was made by Skylar. Skylar Babcock. Uh, nope, it's not one. Maybe it's two. So the first, the first thing I want to do today, hopefully, won't take very long. It's just a, it's just a quick little uh, like uh, guessing mini game. Yeah. Okay. This is the one. This is a pre-made one that Skylar had already created, and he said we could use it for Indigo. All right, one one minute, and then I'll like I'll give you an overview of what I'm gonna be working on here. Okay. So this will be this will be a pretty quick mini game, I think. Um basically you are gonna come in, okay, we'll have a little guy. You can't see this color at all. We'll have a little guy here. He'll be a Kokiri. He has a pointy hat, like all the Kokiri do. And it's gonna be like a, a chest guessing game, sort of. Just a real, a real simple, just like uh, some quick, quick filler content. So we'll have three kind of platforms in the room. Okay, you will talk to this guy, and he's gonna say, "Pay me twenty rupees to play," or some some amount. If you say yes. Then it will spawn in uh, three chests at each of the platforms, and you get to go open one. And as soon as you open one, it opens all of them. And it'll be random which one is going to have, like, one rupee, uh, which one has a heart piece. Maybe we should do 10 rupees. 20 rupees heart piece so you either you get your money back to play again you lose half your money or you get the main thing that's a heart piece hey dry appreciate it thanks yeah lore vega uh ot is fully decomped majora's still has a little bit to go but even without that i think the lack of the like Having to work around the three-day time system in Majora's, I imagine it can be pretty tricky. Hey, Velsabin. Okay, so that's the game. It's going to be super, super short. Um, shouldn't be too bad. It should only take like... Let's see. It's only going to take like an hour. An hour and a half. Yeah, right. Um... I need to open Yeah, this one.
You need to leak a lot of stuff, so I'm just gonna do it here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I will ask you not to talk about Tears of the Kingdom. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete that because I know there are, is at least one person for sure in chat that doesn't want to know anything about Tears of the Kingdom. You think you should tell announce that Portia is Jed? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that one to you, buddy. Okay, let's get some actors in. We're gonna need to make a new actor. He's a mini game chess guessing, let's say. Um, let's make a new actor. Fully blind, legally and mentally. Yeah. Oh. How to do this? I want him to be a Kokiri. But I don't want to use the Kokiri actor. So I'm just going to do. We'll just have this use gameplay key. Oh, I forgot the name of the guy. What's this, what's this guy going to be? Minigame chess guessing? Z64 ROM and decomp. Wow. Good luck, buddy. I hope you make something cool. Custom actor. What's this going to be? Kokiri that runs the guessing game. This is an NPC. Actors from zero. Oh, I see what you did. You see, uh, weird. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like that these are in collections. It's okay though. What room is this? This has been room two. Join the stream and your bloody nose cleared up almost instantly. Hey, you're welcome. Glad I could help. That's the collision, CDI. Also, I thought you had a ZFG stream to watch. Okay, we initialized our actor. All right, so he's gonna stand right here. I'll tell you the thing, and then you can come out here. And uh, I need I need some tree stumps. Hmm. I'll see if she's doing is dying over and over. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I watched I watched his uh, his Breath of the Wild stuff live for like three hours, and after those three hours were up, I realized like these are gonna be good streams to for my you know fall asleep routine because there's not a whole lot going on. <laughs> so I'm just uh, slowly making my way through them <laughs> to put me to sleep. <laughs> Do I have any stumps? Yeah, I've got a stump right here. Let's steal this stump.
Uh, yeah, let's bring this in just a little. Like a little platform, like such as. All right, so we're gonna put one of these guys. Like here. Do one here. And do one here. What a claustrophobic FOV, yeah. Look at Discord, say yes or no. Yes. Okay, you at, you said say yes or no, but you're in your question you per, you give me both options. So more than I'll just more than one. Help you get MM point lighting set up for an OOT ROM hack you're working on. I don't even have it working for my ROM hack, Java, so <laughs> I don't think I'll be a lot of help. Uh, the implementation I had is like super buggy and causes lots of problems, so at the moment I've disabled and removed it. I uh, don't have it working. These still might be too high. Bring them down just a smidge. They're more decorative than anything. And then I'm gonna put one of my mini games on each one. And this is a chest. And let's have all the chests be different so I can find them. One, two, three. Get them all facing the same direction here. Where do I enter? I enter from over here. Yeah, let's do it like this. So you're one, and you're two. Okay, I think that's all I should need for actors. So hopefully I don't need to come back to this scene anymore.
yeah, Jabber, so I'm not really sure how Z64 ROM works either. Okay. Uh, let's add something to the init here. See if all those guys are coming in. Add text to OBS setup that says no. Oh man, I don't know how to do that. Hello from zero one two three. Okay, got it. Um, I don't know what that means. And where would I? Where would it go? We'll just permaban anybody that says TOTK. That'll work. Okay. So let's think here. We need the let's let's get let's get an enum for the type. Let's do this. Type def. You know, um, I'm going to abbreviate these MCG type MCG type. What's the guy? What's the, what's the, what's the guy called that runs the mini game? See the, let's call him owner type guy. Operator, thank you. That's what I was looking for. Operator. All right. So if I'm a chest, um, we're going to wait for switch. And I think that's kind of it. We'll, we'll actually give him a name later. Okay, so we need find MCG type. And we also need MCG switch flag. And we'll use the upper byte for that. Should this even use a switch flag? Hmm. I think I'm just gonna use a static. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it with just a static and see see how that works. Static U8 S spawn chests. Came for OT, but all I see is a bunch of numbers and gibberish. Sorry, we are doing development. S spawn chests. Uh, these are gonna do an actor spawn. Chests are called N box and then 
this actor world pause. We'll give it all that. And we'll give it the rot. And then we need the... We'll just have a chest params that's going to get set. And then we'll do nothing. I guess they could they could they could just kill themselves afterwards. Uh, will it show what you could have won? Yeah, that's gonna happen. Wait, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it will, Martin. We'll see. If uh, we'll see, because I think that there's a different type of chest. Maybe I can use that. We'll we'll see when we get to it. All right, we'll just have them have them do nothing. Okay, chest params. So we also need some stuff for the operator to do. The operator is going to spawn the chests. Oh no, not not spawn. He's going to set chest contents. Yeah, he's going to set the contents. Okay, well, actor is not equal to null. If actor minigame chess guessing is the actor. I don't like this is backwards. I want to do it like this. We'll set that to a chest. MCG type chest. We'll say if it's not equal to MCG type operator. I feel like I remember Indigo being associated with Zelda a long time ago. I don't know. Uh, sorry, okay, way, way behind. I kind of lost myself in the zone there. Why why call it Indigo even as a code name? Um, I don't know. It's a cool color. It's a cool word. Yeah, Tim the Tool, what I'm working on here is a is a custom mini game. So I've I've already got the room and stuff set up, which is which is the actual let me hide the collision. Yeah. So we've already got the room down here. Uh oh. Where'd my little Oh they're there. They're just uh they're too low now. They need to come up just a little higher. Cause they're so low that it's not even above the water. Water not even. You know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm stressing over nothing. It's fine. People coding looks like matrix code. <laughs> well, I'm trying I'm trying to explain uh what 
the code is doing as I go. So hopefully it's still not too much. Um, this I'm going to make this a switch. We're just going to do, we're going to switch on this. Case default, just default. Is this the log chopping minigame from Adora's Mask? No. <laughs> um, let's just choose, we'll just hard code some rewards for now and go with that. So let's say this is S16. Oh, this doesn't need to be static. Chess params. First one doesn't matter. Oh no, this is this is uh spawn chests. Cause when they spawn. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. I now now I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I know what to do. I have to spawn them in immediately. And then I'll let the chest actor itself handle everything else. So what what do I what's the what's the chest? Let me look. M box. So we want large appears switch flag. So that starts with B. So these are all going to be B and then the contents. E4. E4. That's our 10 rupee. Where is red ruby? Nine C for the next one. And then we have a heart piece for the last one, which is come on, where's the heart piece? 7C. 7C. You know what? I realized I don't need this to be a switch either. We're just going to say... We'll just break out. Sorry, continue. And then for the others, this is going to be chest, chest params. Uh, chest param, not params. Chest param. M C G type chest. Yeah. Like such as. Uh, so this isn't wait for switch. This is wait for on chest. Uh, 
and then they're just gonna kill. Kill themselves, okay. Do I have a steam deck? No. So we have an operator that's gonna spawn the chests. Okay, so I need to... Let's get this set up. If uh, type operator, then we're gonna go to... Debug input, I'll explain that in a second. Otherwise, we're gonna go to wait for spawn chest. Okay, now the debug input. So if I push, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trigger this by pushing stuff on the D-pad. So if check button, any play state input, first controller, press button, button D left. I'm gonna spawn the chests. If I press D right, no, this isn't spawn chests. Oh wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll do it all in once. Yeah, that makes that makes more sense. So this will set the contents and then spawn them. Only after, yeah, S spawn chests, true. Don't need that. This doesn't have a return. And if I press button D right, then I'm gonna set the switch flag. Which I realize that I need again. Switch flag. Sorry, not reading not reading chat at the moment. I just I wanna get all this out before I forget, because it's very clear in my head right now. 3F. Okay, so our guy he needs a switch flag. We're gonna give him switch flag 30. Cause that is a temporary flag. I type I type pretty quick. You want me to prove it? I'll do it on stream right now. <laughs> hey, Metal Frost, how are you? Spoken like a true snail typer, okay. Uh, debug test input, okay. So I press D-pad left. Debug print. Spawning chests. one of those okay all right here's this is our proof of concept if this if this works then I know the rest of the mini game is gonna work yeah I can I can t uh, talk and explain uh oh Oh, I, sp I did. I spelled this wrong. This is operator. 
also. Operator. Oops. Debug input. I also need to add chest param. All right, let's give it a go. This music is from all kinds of things. Still another problem, chest undeclared, huh? No, it's not. Wait, what? Chest undeclared, first use in this function. Excuse me? It's, it's declared right here. What's that? Uh, this is, we're compiling with GCC, so we have, we can, we can define stuff anywhere. I think it's part of the uh, macro expansion. But let's try it. This shouldn't fix it. Leave it all and start over, yeah. Hey, Lamo Bick. Hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, that doesn't fix it. While actor is not equal null. Do, do something wrong with the chest actor. Expands the chest actor params. Okay, we've got some some goblins here. Why isn't this there? Maybe there is there another error? No. Error. Chest undeclared. First use in this function. That's just not true, my friend. Okay, what if what if I get rid of the macro? What is it you're working on? Um, I'm working on a minigame. A quick one. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. This isn't the right line that the error is coming from. It's coming from here. <laughs> Guys, it is so hard being dumb. <laughs> Okay, there's all our hellos. Oh man, rust is not fun. Okay. Oh, that looks so bad. Hang on. Gotta, gotta fix that. That's that's required to fix. Although I don't fully understand why I have to. Oh, this ground isn't level. That's why. You know what? They're just they're going beneath the water.
Sorry, small detour. Gotta fix this. Find the glitchy texture charming. Do you know? <laughs> That's a common complaint, RK. Struggling to get the hang of Blender's UI? Yeah, a, a lot of uh, a lot of people. But like with anything, you get used to it. Okay, so with my hotkeys, D-pad left. Should spawn the chests. Uh, that just crashed the game, actually. I'm softlocked. Hard locked, excuse me. Okay, let's let's figure this out. How do I add? Let's see. Add text. Please, no. Am I doing this right? How's that? Press only uh, happens on one frame uh, on the frame that you press it. <laughs> There's also cur, um, which means that you're holding it. It's current button pressed. Operator. Okay, well, let's just start ruling stuff out. Is the demo about ready? Um, it is extremely close. Yeah, spawning chest for is supposed to work. Hmm. Let's try this. Let's see what's happening here. Do I just have, is this somehow an infinite loop? Oh, oh, I see it. I see it actually. I don't need to do this. I see what the infinite loop is. I need to invert this. There we go. That fixes it. I was never, if it was, if I landed on a chest, I was never advancing the pointer. So it was just constantly updating that one chest. That's why we had a, a hard lock, the infinite loop. Um, We're trying really hard to finish it in April. Is this project a one-man band? No, I got a lot of people helping me. Many of them are here in chat. Okay, uh, D-pad left. Spawn the chests. Chest one reporting in, chest two reporting in, chest three reporting in. All right, now let's trigger the actual spawning of them. Oh, I forgot to... Kenton. Okay, switch flag. Where, where do I put the switch flag in? It's in the Z rotation. Okay, so all of these guys. Oh, wait. Chest params. Yeah, they need it. They need it in there. They need to know what the switch flag is. 
Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I'll just put it in here. It'll be fine. It'll be easy this way. Three, three. Yep, we got another mini game. This should be a quick one. Give me the loot, though. And then we've got another one that's going to be a little more fun, I think, after this one. This one's kind of kind of boring, but it's short. And I think it'll be just like a little, a nice little thing. All right. Um, actor spawn. So I need to do this. Actor world rot X. You know, what? I'm just going to do it for all of them. Get out of here, macro. X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Except we're not doing Z. We're doing MCG switch flag. That's what we want. Be a minigame where you get shot out of a cannon. No. The running racing. Yeah. Um, do There's a, a racetrack that we'll do for Pegasus. I guess it's boot racing. Okay. Spawn the chests. All the chests are here. Now let's trigger the switch flag. Nothing's happening. Come on, why? Oh, I know why. Because this room doesn't have a dependency on for boxes. Box. There we go. Also, I'm turning. I need to turn on collision for these three. Did Long just do a front flip? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I can I can show you the racetrack real quick. It was uh created by our loving map god CDI fails. Okay. Spawning the chest. Chest reporting in. Now Yeah, there they are. They're coming in. Oh, they're all backwards though. They're also too big for their logs. Let's open one of them. Okay, so the other one's open. Perfect. Let's try again and get the other reward. Oops, I think I broke it by pushing the debug. Uh, this one over here should be the tenor. Okay. Yeah, considered it. We're not going to add him. Somebody sucked the red out of that rupee? What do you mean? It looks fine. Oh, you know immediately if you picked the right one because it does the... Let's make these small chests so they fit better on the thing. There isn't one. There's only chests that fall out of the sky. That's annoying. I kind of like them spawning in. I don't, I don't, will, will it still do the get item on small chests? I don't think it does. Let me just, let me, I'll just make these, scale these up. Oops. Individual origins. There we go. Flip these guys around.
Okay, let's see. Let's see if these platforms are big enough. And then I'll show you the racetrack scene really quick. And then I'm going to go get another drink. And then we'll keep plugging along. There they are. I think they look good. I think they look fine on their little platforms. And then we'll pick this one. Red. You really don't think this is red enough? I think it looks plenty red. Rotate them all face inwards. Could do that. Depends on what orange. Well, orange looks like orange. Not colorful. All right, let me go to the racetrack. Okay, here's the racetrack scene. There's going to be a guy in here that runs the racetrack. And then it will start you up here. And then you race. Oh, I didn't give myself magic. I'm not going to be able to clear that jump. <laughs> it's pretty sad if you run out of magic. This is really underwhelming without magic. Let me give myself magic. <laughs> Can you explore when not racing? What would you hide there? I don't know if I want to let you explore the track while not racing. I still haven't decided. But probably. All right, let's do the race. Oh, I still can't make that jump. Oh, this is cool. I, I haven't I haven't uh, shown this off yet, but I've added a new mechanic to the boots that allow you to drift around tight corners. That's a lap. But yeah, this scene this scene is gorgeous. It looks really good. All this stuff over here that nobody's ever going to know exists. Very pretty. You could clearly see it, could you? Clearly? I don't know. Looks pretty dark to me. No, I don't know why the rupee rush 
one doesn't work <laughs> for the colors. They're still weird at nighttime. And I don't know why. Actually, CDI, it was broken, but even before I brought in Shrito's stuff. Sad to say. Uh, give me, give me just a sec. I need uh, another, another beverage. I'm back. Yeah, polygon and texture space for adding decoration. There absolutely is, but CDI hates decorating. He just whips up the geometry in like 20 minutes and then kicks it over the fence to me. And I have to do everything else. Okay, uh, this is a good place to commit. What's wrong, CDI? You talk about the flags in Gerudo Desert? Yeah, those are, that's an actor. So I could place that around. <laughs> Sometimes I had decoration in the form of geometry. Yeah, exactly. All right, uh, now the tricky part.
We need to have our owner be a Kokiri. I need stuff. I need. Let's look at bartender. I'll just grab it from his header. I think I need all of this. Hisuya, you're not still here, are you? You are perfect. Do you know if the Kokiri do blinking with eye, special eye textures? I'm just going to hard code that to 16 as well. Only the girl Kakiri have eyes. Love that. Don't need eye index. They have they have flex skeletons? They are flexy, okay. Oh man, this is gonna be so obnoxious. S model info. Is this it? Where's the flex skeleton header? How does this work? Oh, S skeleton. Okay. KM is 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 the boy one, right? Surely it is. What does animation one do? <laughs> I love the comments. kind of like come at me bro let's do that one what is that 16 you started zero right yeah
Happy mass sales aren't going to be in the game. <laughs> Upstream the docks? You think these would pass, Pharaoh? <laughs> Sitting on the ground playing with dirt? Question mark. Fig would definitely approve that. <laughs> hey, spaces. Uh, we're doing more mini game stuff. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. Actually, you know what? I need to null this out. So first action funk is going to be this. Wait for objects loaded. Never do get add dot. <laughs> did I not bring over these actual functions? I don't think I did, did I? No, I didn't. both of these man all this to just not use the kokiri actor is it worth it i don't know I'm kind of regretting my choice maybe i should have just used another kokiri This is like all dynamic and stuff. I really don't like this. I really don't like this. This is this is hard. Okay. I want to bail. I want to bail. What do I do? What's an alternative? I could just import them. Right? Yeah. 
Let's just import Kukiri. Make a new object. This isn't going to work either, dude. I think I I think I have to just uh I think I have to do it within the confines of the Kukiri. <laughs> Let's just make this a Kukiri. Oh man, this this just immediately became zero fun. Immediately became zero fun. Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. That's so sad. File 10 and 11 are open still? Okay. Let's see. There is no operator. Uh, all right. date somewhere yeah oh, what have I done done do I have one down here he's not here does t do 10 and 11 actually work oh wait I did I did uh hex 10 and he's decimal 10 that's probably why Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. Oh, I just okay. This is fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this version this Kokiri just no that never mind that's not gonna work because she would just be like staring straight at you. I was gonna say I could just put the Kokiri there and still control everything else in my minigame actor. Like when you talk to her, you're not actually talking to the Kokiri, you're talking to my actor. But then uh, 
then the head tracking wouldn't work. This one doesn't work at all. It's just soft locks. If you talk to her, let's try 11. See if 11. Why does this one have just severe gamer neck? Look at that lean. How far? <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. So he's sitting. He could be sitting on a... Sitting on a little stump. Let's make him sit on a stump. See how that looks. Yeah, I think I think just doing adding another wait for talk is the way. Oh, perfect. I lined him up right on the edge. First try. Yeah, just get soft, dude, when you talk to him. Okay. So type 11 is going to work. Do we have a wait for talk? Oh, I see what you did. So you've got an Enfado. What's all this stuff? Debug cam enabled. Uh, so Fado's wait for talk goes to Fado determine talk state, but. Am I dumb? Enco wait for t oh it just goes to okay so yeah you you just you just kind of fragment out instantly. All right, I'll do the same. <laughs> Enco. Clean that up. Clean what up? Talk 
epoxate one. There's no reward obtained. We just have these two. Would I accept anyone's model work of texture to be part of your project? No, not anyone's. We don't we don't care about states for this guy. What do you mean? Determine next talk state. It's just going to be choice and done. Okay, so what are his states going to be, or his, his messages? He's going to prompt you to play the game. Uh, you can accept the game. Decline game. And you can fail the game for not having rupees. game one part piece so you can keep playing if you want but you're not gonna you're not gonna get the heart piece anymore uh, I'm gonna edit let me open a new
So as a placeholder, we'll start here and I can put these to their real numbers later. Prompt game. Something like that. Choice index zero. Greater than or equal to 20. Then you get to play, otherwise you don't get to play. And if you decline the game, say done yeah he's never he's never going to do anything so we'll just end the conversation right something like that Why is folding not work anymore? Fold all. There we go. Just pop this here. Let's just try this. That's one. We'll just do placeholders for the others, but we need that one to be a choice. Uh, accept, decline, no rubies, play again. Okay. Accept. Decline. No heart piece. Determine next talk state. 
That's not what I want. Set starting text ID. This is what I need. Set starting text ID. Uh, okay. Let's just let's just hard code this for now. This actor text ID, it's gonna be enco minigame message prompt game. And I need to actually take the rupees. Ruby accumulator. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing anything with forest state. This is how the, this is how the accumulator works, right? You you add. How do I how do I do it for? Weird. Oh, rupees changed by. That's what I want. 20. Hmm. Uh, let me get a disc clean going because I need to pick up those new texts. While I work all the rest of this. Okay. So I do need to do something in text state done. If here's where I need to add the queue. So I need to do something like this. Uh, chests right Set the switch flag. I'll worry about resetting the game later. Let's get these 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 two sorted. Oh, this is what you mean, get rid of forest state, yeah. Oh, I've been doing minigame guy.
Doesn't need. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. That's fine. Excited for your next demo? Thanks, critic. I am too. <laughs> Excited to be done. <laughs> Gonna be taking a long break. Decompress. Uh, spawn chests. This is what we need. Okay, so that can't be a static anymore. Spawn chest. Modders don't take breaks after release, dealing with the inevitable week of bug reports. Um, hopefully not, because we're doing we're doing a closed beta. Actually, like right now, a good chunk of the game is in closed beta, and we're getting a lot of good feedback from our early testers. So hopefully, they catch most of the problems. Okay, so if you're a chest and you're told to spawn the chest, unset that, then spawn the chest with your switch flag. Got it. Operator spawn chests. This is, there is no longer an operator. So this function is gone. Uh, that function will be gone soon, but I'm going to leave it for now. This do nothing function is never used. There is no more draw. So all this actor does is just wait to get a signal that it, it should spawn the chest. Maybe I should do that now nah, because I need to get I need to get the ram in there anyway. It's fine. There is no operator. Come on. Get out of here, spawn chests. No more operator. No more override, no more post. Oh my god, this quickly became like a stupidly trivial actor for the actual minigame. Uh, oh, I need this. I need this header. We need to include source overlays, actors, OVL, minigame, chest guessing. And I need to move this enum into the header so that way I have access to it from the other overlay. Get out of here, bartender. So I don't need that at all. Delete, delete, delete. Am I even using this anywhere? Nope. Get rid of that. And let me change these guys to be zero indexed instead of one indexed. So that's going to be two. 
going to be 1. It's going to be 0. Uh, yeah, the folks on the team, dry. Um, well, Hisuya, I think, is the only person I can say with 100% certainty who watched it. Yeah, we really we really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was very entertaining. <laughs> uh, okay. Something like that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not making this function. I'm also gonna hard code the switch flag. I don't what if i don't set the switch flag let's do this a different way let's make all of these their own switch flag so he, he'll be 30 this guy will be 31 and that guy will be 32 and then let's do this this action funk delay set switch this is better delay set switch these guys need a timer though now and Let's set the timer to 10 frames. They're going to set their own switch flags to spawn the chests. And then they're going to go back. Um, actually, let's do let's do another another round. Wait, I can do it all. I can do it all here. If this timer is greater than zero. We'll decrement it. Else if well let's just see this. This this is signed. So this is safe to do. If this timer equals zero, then we'll set the switch flag. Else if the timer is less than negative ten We'll unset it. And then we will go back. See how that works. Probably have to change this again later, but this should let us kind of reset, reset the game.
So if you accept the game, this guy needs also, he needs to find and kill all of the chests. Kill chests. What is the category of a chest? Are they actor cat chest? Huh, okay. Actor cat chest. Actor kill. That's what's gonna let us keep playing. Okay, let me get the forward decals up for these, and then we are basically, I hope, in business. We'll see. I mean, what are the chances it works on the first try, right? Close to, if not 0%. I hate C and the forward decal stuff. Appreciating it more now after playing Master of Time. <laughs> we have put so much time into into dialogue. Um, I I really like Majora's Mask and having kind of a character driven story. So we're trying to emulate that in some ways. S six timer. That's not a real thing. And it's not something that everybody cares about, but for those that do, we hope that the characters are fun. Delay set switch. That's right. I forgot to do the forward decal for that one. Remember when I said this was only going to take an hour? <laughs> Care about character driven story? Cool. Glad to hear that, Johnny. I hope you will enjoy. Okay. No chests. Uh oh, soft lock. <laughs> Why is talking to him soft lock? Hang on, I need to unhide the HUD. But I don't, I don't want to show you guys the HUD because it's new. And I want to, I want to keep it a surprise. 
That just straight up doesn't work. Cool. Leak the HUD. <laughs> uh, Hisuya, help me out here, buddy. What am I? What have I done wrong? Why is talking to this guy soft lock? Wait, am I ever actually ca calling this? No, I'm not. Okay, uh, sorry. I know. I know what's happening. <laughs> I'm dumb. There we go. Yeah, loose tube a while ago I did a I ran a poll on the on the YouTube channel here asking if people were more interested in a more finished vertical slice that kind of shows you know is more story focused and would be like the first part the opening act of the game or a another like technical showcase that was more of like a hodgepodge just mix of like here's all the cool stuff that we've done um and overwhelmingly people voted in favor of the story driven one so that's what we're doing want to play Where's the chests? Okay, it sort of works though. Why didn't it fully work? It's just placeholder, buddy. Why, should I not be setting this action funk? What's this action funk do? Oh my god, what is all this garbage? Is within talk? I, I don't want this. I don't want to change the action funk, do I? I'm not changing it. Maybe that's what's messing me up. Get out of there. Continue talking. Okay, let's see if that fixes it. Keep it. But what if it, it doesn't seem to be... Why? What am I doing here? I'm I'm returning the continue talking state, right? Wait, wait. I'm waiting. Is this one is this still happening? Why am I returning anything? I'm setting his talk state. I don't need to change action funk. That's what I thought. How do I how do I make it continue? Continue text box? Do you think I can just like can I call that here? Computer just blue screen? Likely story, buddy. Likely story. There we go. Okay. Uh, that should have done the thing. But it didn't do the thing. 
Oh, I'm searching the wrong actor cat. What is the actor category for these? NPC? Are these NPC? These are more like item actions. We are working on a mini game, a dumb little chess mini game that I thought was only going to take an hour. And how, how long into the stream are we? Two hours. So pretty par for the course. It's just a, a dumb little, uh, just a way to get a heart piece, really. Huh? Where are they? spawn chest Excuse me. So this isn't even getting called. Do I need to put it in inside this message should advance? Is that what I'm missing? Am I am I dumb here, Hisuya? What 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 what's happening? Why isn't that printing anything? Accept the game. Kill the chests. Continue talking. Text state done. This is like this is not this is not happening here. Why isn't that triggering? Dude. Text state done is just like not happening. <sighs> How hard is it to make ROM hacks? It's not easy, but it's not impossible either. Try closing. That doesn't work either. Yeah, personally, I, I I refer to Indigo as a mod. 
not a ROM hack, because it's not really a ROM hack anymore. But that's kind of a nuance that I think most people don't care about, so I'm not, like, anal about it. Oh, wait, it's this this thing. Continue talking. I don't have a case for that. I should just set this to in conversation still. Let's try that. Uh, are you talking about this, Johnny? What I'm working on here? There it is. Done. Found 115 chests. That's too many chests. <laughs> Yeah, Devin, you can you can make ROM hacks without doing the coding. I Indigo's like it is a is a little different in that the things I wanted to accomplish all require heavy code edits. But you you have there's plenty of ROM hacks like the Sealed Palace, right, where they kind of set out to just see what they could do using vanilla assets. Why, why is that? Why is that finding so many chests? Is it getting called just like a ton of times? No, because this, this is uh, enclosed here. Hmm. Yeah, and it immediately goes into the delay. Oh, I... <laughs> that's, that's why. Sorry. Let's make this timer like 60. So we have some time to see here. Did I did I not export this? I thought I did. Yeah, it looks like I did. No, I, because I forgot to actually print the value, the string format just read garbage data, and it happened to read 115. Okay, spawning for 012, setting switch for 012. I feel like that should have worked.
Can I repeat the part where I explained 115? In my print statement, I didn't set any data in the var args part of the string format. So the string format code just read out of bounds memory and happened to read 115. Dude, it's setting it's setting the right flags. Is homeboy just like killing the chests or something? Let me try removing the part where he kills them. Though it shouldn't matter. going on these are definitely spawning chest param is the chest param wrong Let me just give them all yellow rupees. Maybe that's what's messing up. No, that doesn't make sense. It would still spawn the chest. It would just have corrupted contents. Why isn't this working? Is it because of this? Yeah, audio. Ugh. Where are the chests? Yeah, uh, I'm just not going to keep building audio. No, they are spawning in bounds because they're spawning on top of the position. See if there's any that are even being introduced. How easy is the audio stuff to use? Zero. Actually, that's that's not entirely true. Okay, so chests exist in the scene. They're just they're not being spawned. Um, the way the way I have it set up. So for my uh, asset handling system, 
there is a folder called mod assets, which is just an exact hierarchy copy of assets. And right before build, everything in assets gets copied over and installed, or everything in mod assets gets copied over and installed. Um, for sound effects, it's pretty easy. You can just add um, into this, this, add into the sound effects sample uh, for, what was the other one? Sound fonts? No, that's not, it's not sound fonts. MIDI, oh yeah. Um, yeah, you can just add, add into MIDI and drop the MIDI in there. And then I've got a whole bunch of other build stuff that will do magic and convert it to the right, right piece. But it took me a long time to get that working. So the chest is getting spawned, but the switch flag is not correct. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. Yeah, the, the chests the chests are definitely there. Yeah, you, we use sex sixty four for converting the MIDI. think yeah so I run I run it through sec 64 and convert it into the the a sec it's actually kind of, it's actually so stupid okay so I take the MIDI I use sec 64 to convert it into the binary format and then I disassemble it and convert it into the sequence format that the audio decomp uses and then when audio decomp goes and builds everything it rebuilds this sequence back into a sequence <laughs> that's the only way i've been able to get it working All right, let's change the chest param. Let's make these five, because I think, I think five is just gonna spawn immediately. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I don't know how to use OBJ copy, but I'm sure that would also work. The problem is, the Sec64 doesn't export a .muse or whatever format the text format of it in a way that audio decomp can understand so the only way to get a, a dot sec file that audio decomp understands is to is to <laughs> disassemble <laughs> see there's the chests so for some reason the switch flags aren't working What if I use lower lower flags? Maybe something is unhappy with just like the high high flags. We'll use these guys. Yeah, a player scale it seems like he's doing doing a lot with audio upstream. I think I was talking chatting with Fig about it, and I think one of the big issues is at least for modding getting converting that midi into a sequence so i think uh some folks don't want to use sec 64 so they would have to, they'd have to write their own tool to do that which seems very time consuming Right, exactly, yeah. My original dream 
was to have audio be like basically drag and drop. Drop in a MIDI and it will build it into the game. Drop in a, dot wa a wave file and it'll build it into the game. And it almost works that way. The big problem at the moment, like the deficiency in my build process is creating sound fonts for the MIDIs. That is uh, tedious. It doesn't work very well. What, what is going on? I'm using the right one, right? B, large appears, switch flag. Maybe it, maybe it's this somehow. Let me just do that. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll do that right now. Um, let me open my compile MIDI. So when I'm when I'm compiling the the MIDI into sequence and then disassembling it again. <laughs> I have to specify which sound font it's going to use. So in this one, it's using um, 38, which is oh, we have an all uh, all instrument sound font. So these are big XML, um, and this is part of Audio Decomp that define the sound font. My goal was to just have one kind of gigantic sound font that defined all the instruments, but it doesn't seem to fit. So. We need to make one of these XML sound fonts and key it to every new song that we put in that uses a different, um, a different set of instruments. But once we do have that, then the compiles or the disassemble script or whatever is able to like properly build all the dependencies it needs for each, for each piece. But it is cool because this is just specifying AIFC samples. So it's very easy to have a WAV file drop it in, and then if you want to have that wave be an instrument, you can reference it here as an AIFC. And the other earlier step in the build process will have already converted that wave file into a correct AIFC. And I'm, I'm using Z64 audio to convert from wave to AIFC. Um, so it's very, so we're able to do like, one thing that I'm super thrilled with is we get custom instruments from arbitrary samples very easily. Yeah, it doesn't seem to fit, Martin. Like it, the limit seems to be around 40 instruments, and after that, any instrument beyond 40 just like doesn't play. Because um, I think they're all in memory at once. Okay, this is this is really frustrating me. I don't get why this isn't working.
Uh, for the game code itself, you need instrument banks, but you should be able to swap banks as needed and assign a bank to a sequence. Yeah, within the realm of possibility, if I'm understanding you correctly. What? Uh, what? So it works? This doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, what if I hard code this one to 10? Is there something weird happening? Like, if I set multiple switch flags? At once? Can I only set one switch flag per frame? Something like that? Excuse me? This is literally the same line, right? It worked when I pressed it with the D-pad, but it doesn't work if I just have it setting it via code. I'm sorry, what? Even with just one chest setting the flag, it isn't, it wasn't working though. There's some race condition here. Oh my. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh man, this was like 20 minutes of debugging and I'm calling it with the wrong pointer, and C just like lets that happen even though it's the wrong type. It's like, oh, fine, this is just a pointer. I'll assume you know what you're doing. Oh my God, Kenton. That, that one hurts. That one hurts a lot. That one really hurts. Lay. I can't believe that. 20 minutes for that little...
Well, that's just that's just C being obnoxious. Any good language would have caught that for me. There they are. And this one has the heart piece. Yeah. Okay, that delay doesn't need to be 60, though. We can make that 10. Yeah, maybe it did generate a warning, but... <laughs> I've been trained to just ignore warnings for so many. Yeah, it's impossible to spot. All right, let's take the yellow. Let's go again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, they just fly up. Just, oh, and now we crashed. Okay. <laughs> um yeah, now I can put that Kill chests back in. Need to return to the top floor? No, I'm hoping that I should be able to make it so the chest, you can just talk to him again and play again immediately. It would be pretty annoying if you have to like reload the scene. He doesn't seem to be properly killing the chests. No, I'm just going to kill the chests. Okay, there they are. Oh, I know, I know, I know what's happening. I know what's happening. Two things are happening. One, this is still broken. Second, I need to clear the treasure flag when I kill them. But I don't, what is the treasure flag? Flags get treasure? Yeah. So when I kill these chests, How do I set a treasure flag? I need to turn it off and then kill it. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, how do I... This Diamond Actor params and one. Uh, 
extra params. Uh, add incompatible to the C flags. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Where? Oh, yeah, make file. It looks like it should be okay, but I'm also doing it in some other things. <laughs> but where I'm using it elsewhere is allowed. Uh, that's a good tip, though. I, I will keep that. I'm gonna make a make an issue to turn that on because I 20 minutes is a long time to waste on something so simple. So let's fix that. Turn on. Thank you, Thero. I appreciate that. All right, let's see if the chess game works. Oh, dude, we have... ...87 issues <laughs> on our project. <laughs> There's a lot. Okay, yellow. I'll play again. And now I found it. Okay, so there's only a couple things left to do. We need to write his dialogue. Yeah, I could use a, a fixed camera, um, but I kind of just don't want to put in the effort to do that so this is the problem if you if you spawn the chest and talk to him again he'll immediately kill them and just kind of scam you <laughs> so i need to fix that let me move let me move his kill chests back to the place where they were before we'll put it here that way and he'll have some other dialogue where he's like go on so we need to we need to add another dialogue flag uh this is gonna be game in progress Okay. 
the other the only thing that i'm a little worried about is i need some way to detect that the player opened the the heart piece chest i'm not sure how to do that yet but i'll figure i'll figure it out. all right i need to i need to clean in order to get that new uh new message id Uh, and I'm going to use this opportunity to use the restroom and grab another, grab another drink. Okay, while I was getting my drink, I had a terrible idea about how to detect the heart piece. But I think it's going to work. Uh, let me get let me get a param for. Yeah, we'll do Deku nuts.
um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spy on the player struct. And when the player struct has its GID set to obtaining a heart piece, then I'm going to set an inf table flag. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, the previous yeah, I can just check if uh if the No that hmm. hmm. Okay, you're right. My solution isn't gonna work. These guys are just using treasure flag zero. You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna hard code it. It's fine. This guy's only gonna be used in this scene. I'm going to regret this later, I guarantee it, but whatever. Okay, so this, this should fix the problem where he deletes the chests in the middle of the game and scams you. Oh, I, I need to... Turn this stuff back on. Let's do the full thing. I still need some way. Uh, how, how am I going to detect that the player got the heart piece? I feel like spying on the player struct is the easiest way. Man, I'm also kind of sort of thinking forward to rando. And if I hard code it to be a heart piece, that means nothing else can can be the reward here. I need like some way to know that the winner chest is opened, not necessarily the heart piece chest is opened. That would be better, a better solution. So how can I detect the winner chest being opened? One of I, I what if I if I spy on spy on the winner chest? Yeah. And at some point the winter chest is going to it's presumably set some some kind of state that says it's the one that actually is being opened. I could also give them all different treasure flags and have the Kakiri set all the other treasure flags as soon as one of them is opened. Maybe that's a better, a better way to do it. I don't want to look at the treasure box game. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the three chests different treasure flags. So you'll be flag zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. We'll do that. We'll do that. Hey CDI, welcome back. Uh, yeah, vendor. We're we're gonna later on. We are gonna have a built-in built-in rando. I think that'll that'll be kind of the our swan song for the project. When we're finally done with everything, we're gonna take a month and then do rando. So I'm not like being I'm not obsessing about it, but ca cases like this where I can make a decision that will make my life easier or more painful when we get to rando than I than I think about it. Um, I think this is a good, a good time to have it in mind. Okay, set the treasure flag like such as. I kill all the chests. Yeah. Actor. Rams. Okay. So I need to I need to I need to pick winner. Um I need to pick the winner. Winner index. So that'll, that'll randomly pick the winner index. And then, okay, I know what to do. We can do... Chest params winner index. Is it going to get the heart piece? The next one is going to get the tenor. And the one after that is going to get the 20 piece. Winder index? Winner. Winner index.
No, I don't need to do this. I'm going to put that on the struct. Kind of wasteful because there's only one Kukiri. Oh, wait, I'll just reuse this, Unk 210. It's definitely safe to just reuse that, right? I'm not going to. I'm adding another one. So he's gonna spawn the chests. One of them is gonna have a heart piece. One of them is gonna have a yellow rupee. One of them is gonna have a red rupee. Uh, let's do, hang on, let me, let me check the imp, imp table. Let's use the, uh, this one's probably high enough. 22. I'll document this later, but I have a bunch of other documentation in the Z64 save header where this is defined. And I don't want to show that because <laughs> that's like deep spoiler for the story. Different, different story states. What should the prize be otherwise? Maybe a purple rupee? Let's do a purple rupee. I think that's AA. I could put a cherry. A cherry, a fairy, yeah. Okay, kill chest, unset the flags. Imp table 22. Now where is this guy gonna be checking this? His main action funk here. I need to set this to Yeah, I need I'm gonna I need to set I'm gonna set this to negative one here. Struct. 
No, I'm not. I'm just I'm just gonna hard code it. What are the treasure flags? Zero, one, and two. Okay, so this guy's going to set them all. Let's see if it works. Uh, Vindra Masuda? No, these are just normal chests. And yes, Egger, I will do that right now. I don't know where what you're talking about. I don't see anything from you. Sorry. Bender? Will do, buddy. Thank you. All right, let's play. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Is it this part? Can't be this part. It came out of message data. It hit it hit an assert in message data somewhere. Let's see message pal DMA error. Yeah, 
Yikes. 1966. Find message. Can't find the message. Okay. Hundred, one hundred one, one hundred two, one hundred three, one hundred four, one hundred five. Am I, am I at the edge? 101, 102, 103, 104. Have I finally reached the end of the allowed message IDs? Maybe because this is signed and I'm hitting the upper limit. Let me try putting them lower. 71. Seventy-four, though. I'll put these in a better message range later. I'm just I'm being I'm being coy because I'm trying to squeeze it into. There's a bunch of other like you know story dialogue around this around this message zone that I don't want to uh, don't want to reveal. I hope that was a problem. I really hope that was the problem. Because if not, I don't know what's going on. DMA, it says, so that DMA, it's, tr it's trying to pull the message data out of, out of ROM, but can't find it? Why wouldn't it be able to find it? Oh, first I need to, what did I set these to, seven, four? Seven four, seven four, seven four, seven four. Uh, yeah, Ajikar, I think I see what you're talking about now. It looks fine to me, although I think CDI's suggestion is sound. suppressing all this text would make the build go faster.
Like if I just pipe it to depth null. Okay. Game in progress. No, it's not. But I think the, the crash was... We fixed the crash. So that's good. If not... Oh, I, I need to... Check if the chests have been spawned. So I need to do actor find. So if there is a chest, at least one chest in the scene, in the room, excuse me, and the treasure flag has not been set there. That's an, a really difficult question to answer, Vinder. Um, I think you can get started with just a few months. You can, you can learn programming by modding. I don't think there's anything stopping you from doing that. Uh, it's more a matter of how much time you're willing to put into it. All right, let's play. We're playing the game. Let's try this one. Pick the loser. Uh-oh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Immediately find a bug. Oh wait, is Imp Table 22 also used by the Kokiri? It is. That's hilarious. Okay, I picked I picked a bad one. Um but I'm still gonna use it. So let me let me clean this up. Uh oh it's all it's all just stuff still in Kokiri. I can show this. Comment stuff out. Okay, let's try again. Hisuya's first mod was also my first mod. He just did a better implementation of it. So given enough time, Hisuya is, is going to surpass me. He's on my heels already. We both, we both made bomb arrows, but his were better. Is Python a good language to learn first? Yes. I, I, anybody that's interested in programming, now I recommend them Python. Purple rupee again? Why why am I getting the purple rupee?
Oh, I'm doing it backwards. Kenton. I had my if statement inverted. Here's the thing also, I wonder how many players are gonna enter, well, none of you, obviously. Okay, just a uh, mystery crash, don't know why that happened. Are gonna enter this room, okay? See all these, talk to these two, and never realize that there is a mini game down here. Maybe I should add a sign or something. Always pick the first one. Okay, got the yellow. Yellow again. That's unlucky. <laughs> this is this is our damp A. Oh, got it. Third try. He didn't do the new dialogue, though. Why didn't he? Hmm. Let's keep playing and see what happens. There's the red. Oh, now it said no heart piece. Okay, trying to leave this scene causes a crash now. Let me fix that. Z play. 2290. Oh, I probably. Okay. This entrance doesn't have a uh, transition type assigned to it. Weird. I need to do this up here. Nice. Thank you, Hisuya. I just I didn't have any more in me. I felt like I had I had a couple uh, one or two neat ideas for setting up her dialogue and then I just couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, yeah, I'll finish I'll finish the rest of the I'll rest rest of the dialogue logic tonight. Dude, always get the yellow. Let's go for number three. Nice. Second try. Alright, tell me that I don't have a heart piece to win. Dude, it still says wanna play. Come 
Come on. That's not the winter chest, though. I wonder if my hard coding is causing problems. Most likely. Game index, negative one. Minigame index, zero. So that means this one should be the winner. Huh? Sorry, what? Do I have an off by one somewhere? Minigame index is now two. Yeah, so that should be it should be this one. Oh no. Because I'm dumb. That's why. I'm just going to add this one more time. I, I shouldn't have done it this way. Because I'm, I'm set. I pick a winner and I set it and then I change it. So, but now I've changed it all the way back and it should roll, roll back around. Okay. So this one should be the winner now. Correct. Good. Now tell me. No heart piece. Good. Winner is number two again, so that should be purple. Good, good, it's working. So one should be purple, which means this one should be red. Good, do one more test, make sure I can predict the yellow one. So the one in the middle should be the yellow rupee this time. Hey, okay, okay, the game works. We're done. We're done. I made it predictable after opening the first. No, I'm I know which I was printing the winning chest index to the screen. So I always knew which chest was the winner. And because you know I know which chest is the winner, I also know what the other two chests are.
Cool, cool stuff, cool stuff. Okay, uh, I originally wanted to do the Pegasus racetrack stuff today, but this took like several hours longer than I hoped it would. And I'm hungry. I want to go eat dinner. So I'm going to call it here. Um, probably end up streaming again tomorrow, and I will do the mini game then. So if you'd like to watch that, come back. Does your ROM have Easter eggs? Yeah, lots. Lots and lots. Anyway, take care, take care folks. See you next time.